So, you're probably all here because you want to know one of the best tank builds in Skull and Bones, George Rodriguez. Welcome to the Death Squad Amigo. If you subscribe while I'm making a video, I'll make sure I shout you out. So, we are starting off with, and what you can see is the snow. By all means, this is not completely perfect, only because there are certain weapons that are not currently in this game, or armors. But this is what I believe is the best PvE tank build in the whole of Skull and Bones right now. Now, there is two variants of this. This is one variant, and I'm going to show you and explain to you how. But firstly, let's quickly go over and accept the hardest bounty in the game. And I'm going to attempt to try and do the hardest bounty in this game with just this ship as a solo. It should not be possible, but I believe that we can do it using this ship. So let's go over to the bounty board here in the den. And we have got this one. And it basically says it in his name. Ah, pack. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to say the word because we're on YouTube and all that. But, yeah, that's exactly how you feel when you do this. Especially if you've attempted it before. I have. It was not fun. But, I've had some improvements. And I think maybe, just maybe now, I might be able to do it. So, let's not view that legendary heist. Let's view where this bounty is. And it's there. When I get there, I'll quickly show you my ship. This is fast travel. So the ship I'm using obviously is the snow. There's two only, really two on, only two tank ships that are probably worth looking at. Um, but I'm going to be using the snow, which is also the Vanguard. And if I go obviously to the view ships, it's this one right here. Um, and then we look at the specializers bracing against incoming damage to tank itself in defense. Recovers brace strength by 4% per second while bracing. So if you've got plenty uh, of stamina, when you're taking hits but you're still holding the bracing afterwards, you're actually regenerating that. So you can constantly basically brace providing you've got enough stamina. So it also increases brace strength by 50% and brace strength recovery by 150%. It's got hull health, so uh, 50,000 hull health. Brace strength of obviously 20, 25,000. The speed is lacking, but you can't have it all, and it's got 80,000 cargo. Now here is an overview of the weapons. Matt Forkham, welcome to the Death Squad Amigo. Appreciate that subscribe. And then we've got the Black Prince armor on currently. And we have also got the Iron Cap stat Starboard Power to Kegs. So this is versatile. So let's go into the actual managed ship itself. We click on the weapons. Now, there's a reason why I say this is the best PvE. Because in PvE, the ships have got quite a lot of weak points. Now, you might have done PvP. But in PvP, ships don't have that many weak points. They uh, seem to have just like the one on the front or the one on the side. And that is it. So it's not great to focus weak points or do weak point focused builds for pvp but for pve it definitely is so for the front i've got the twin winch ballista now <laughs> oh laurie tarilla welcome to the dev squad and there's a lot of you i'm really appreciating the love by the way guys and all the support that you're giving me to my channel and so yeah the twin winch ballista the reason i'm using this it doesn't say it here on this screen right now and it's got the double drawer it's got a piercing and piercing and that but it actually can do up to 12,000 damage to a weak point. Um, I'll go over the website which gives you all these stats in another video. But as of right now, I'm just going to show you the build. It does say damage 4732, but it can have 600% more damage than what you're seeing up here, providing it's a weak spot. It's got piercing 2, so 20% of damage, piercing damage, increased damage to weak points at 75% with piercing of 946. And it's got weak point damage there at 225%. So... That's the twin winch as the front. The only other thing I would change this for as a PvE build would be... Some people would probably go for the blue spectre. I'm not going to go for the blue spectre. I would go for the Skurlock Long Nines. Because we want to be doing as much weak point damage. Especially to these high level ships. They have got a lot of... Uh, Weak points, and the only way you can chomp them down literally is by attacking them. So I'd use the long nines and tear up the whole ship using long nines and the ballista. Then we'll go down to my sides. So on my sides, I'm using the Basilisk Freeze. The reason I'm using the Basilisk Freeze, for one, it's got the Raider perk, and it increases charge rate of the vulnerable effect by 50%. It's also got piercing, so yet again, it's going to be doing extra weak point damage, as you can see down there. If I was to go over to this, for instance, look at the weak point damage multiplier. It's 150%. The, the weak point damage multiplier on the long guns are obviously going to be high. When we go to the flooding, it's got 150%. So we want the highest weak point damage, which are these... Um, also, a mention and the reason I would go for these over anything else on the side of the Vanguard is because the Vanguard's only got three top 
deck slot. So if I quickly just set sail. Oh, no, I don't have to set sail. You can see it there on the screen. If you look at the side of the ship, it's only got three top deck, but it's actually got four bottom deck. Now, these cannons are classed as all deck weapons. So if I go back to shore and I press uh, the back and I go over to my knowledge and I go to codex, if we go down to here, the weapons, you can see there's all deck weapons and top deck weapons. So top deck we weapons will only use functionality of what is available. So you've got the long guns, you've got the bombards and the torpedoes. They only work for top deck weapons. Now you've got the all deck weapons, which are the color burns, which obviously you've got the multiple different ones, the tearings and that. And then you've got the demi cannons, which you've got the plain demi cannons and the, f the fire ones and the flooding ones. They also use all deck weapons, plus the new ones that are coming out in season one. And the auxiliary weapons, well, obviously they only use auxiliary. Um, so yeah, the... Where was I at? Yeah, that's the reason I use it on this, because if I only use top deck on, on this for the side, I'd only have three weapons. Now, we need to be able to hit more, especially being so limited with everything else, because we're a tank, and this is the way to do it. Plus, the bonus is, using a Basilisk, we're getting so much weak damage uh, abilities done. So, that is my side weapons. I've got that on both sides. Now, for the rear, I have got myself Skirl at Long Nines. I would have a twin winch ballista but you can only put a twin winch ballista at the front now it's great to use a twin winch ballista because on this you could either put long nines but the long nines you got the two ports you got the twin winch so the twin winch you can fire really fast if you need to um obviously i always charge it back and then the rear you've got the skirl at long nines because you've only got two rear ports on this wait there might be four so maybe all decks might be beneficial on this but i haven't haven't gone into that detail for the auxiliary I'm using the Leopold 3 just to get that extra bit of flooding. As you can see, it does serious flooding damage. Now, when I do this boss fight, it might appear to me that the Leopold's not actually going to be that good. Because of the Leopold doesn't really fire too close to you. So I might have to switch up to rockets if I can't complete it the first time using the Leopold. After that, we want to go down to the armor. So, there is an actual armor that you want to use. You don't actually want to be using the Black Prince, and you don't want to be using the Royal Custodian for this. The Royal Custodian is pretty good, and the Black Prince is pretty good. They're basically almost the same. The, the Refortifier, you could use just a small um, armor kits and get the benefit for that. This has got slightly bit more armor, only by 50, but obviously every little helps. And it's got quite a lot of explosive damage protection, which is going to be good for this boss, because this boss uses a stupid amount of torpedoes. And I mean, it, it, it's going to be fun to watch. If you've never seen it, this is a joke. It's like something out of a blimmin' anime world. It is hard as heck. But the armor that we do actually want to go, if we go back to the codex, it's not available yet, and it won't drop until February the 27th, once season one drops. Um, you want to go to codex, and you want to go to armor, and the armor that we actually want, especially for the tank, is the Ouroboros. The reason is, yes, it's got the flooding and fire protection explosives. This is going to be good for PvP and PvE, but it's the perks that really make this shine. It's not got as much armor with 1,100, but the, look at this, Alma Gamate. I've probably said that wrong again. Restores 15% of whole health while bracing. The effect only occurs after bracing ends. So you're always bracing on this and you're always releasing the brace. So you're going to be able to heal up your ship quicker than they can hurt you. That is absurd. And this ship's got the highest health being 50,000 health. It also restores 100 severe damage every second. So... One thing I might have to do with this boss is actually change my furniture piece or one of my furniture pieces just to help me fight this boss because he constantly causes severe damage. The only way I'm going to know those, obviously, by going into battle. But the one I'm using right now in terms of furniture is I'm using the IM Capstab because it reduces damage taken by 15% and increases threat generation by 100% while anchored. But the reason I'm using that is because every time he fires his rockets or whatever it is, and I know I can't get out of the way, I just double tap B or anchor basically myself immediately and i just get the extra 15 percent damage reduction and it's huge especially using a tank the only other one that i would use would be either you've got to recover one percent of hull per second when a whole health is less than 20 percent but you're always cutting it on a fine line with that so i don't really like that um and there is uh, another one which is a scrapper station i think that's really good but i haven't messed around enough with that but there's also one that I do not currently have unlocked. And that is where it um, reduces severe damage by... It's basically the same as what the armor does. And it... Um, yeah, it's not there. I can't find it. I, maybe I haven't got it unlocked. Basically just helps you re restore your hull after taking damage. Then for the other furniture slots, I want as much DPS damage output as possible. Because I'm going to be taking so much damage... Um, 
I still want to be able to deal damage. And with the lack of cannon slots, I want to be able to deal as much damage. I want to get the bosses done quick. So I've got the starboard uh, powder kegs, um, which obviously starboard weapons are getting 10%. I've got the... Um, the port weapon damaged by 10%, support being left, starboard being right. And then I've also got the front weapon damaged by 10%. Now you could switch this around and I've really thought about and what could I do differently to make this a bit better. I could probably give myself a bit more whole health. Once I've got the Ouroboros, this will probably be something I'd put on just to get that extra little bit of healing. Every little is going to help when, when you're getting the healing from a perk. Um, and then you've got all the other bits and bobs. So you've got obviously... Your flooding effects and stuff like that. But none of these really, really stand out for me. Um, maybe if I go into the repairing route with a tank repair, that might be good. But I can't actually find anything that's going to seriously improve this ship overall. Um, and I have looked through the store. So I think you might as well, with them slots, is just maximise the damage output. What one have I unclicked? I'll unclick this one here. There we go. Let's put that back on. Perfect. Right, so without further ado, let's go and uh, take this on. Oh, quick note, if you haven't claimed it, the All Aboard is ending today. So if you haven't got the rewards, go to Content Creators on Twitch and you can get all of these these uh, decals and stuff on your ship for absolutely free as long as they give you a code and you enter it into Ubisoft Redeem, uh, com, I believe it is. Uh, but let's go set sail wait make sure i've got enough food and everything i do have plenty of food um so i can keep my stamina up for a while i don't have too much I've got 74 grilled duran hmm do i want more Nah, that should be that sh that should be fine uh, i could cook them coconuts but i'm not too bothered i've got enough mortars the only thing i might change is honestly the the rockets from the Leopold. Just so uh, the rockets might be really good because you have to get quite close and personal to him. So the rockets are really good for close and personal. Now, if I look for this, so hunt down our pack and deliver proof to the DMC. Right, so where the hell is our pack? And I don't really know how to activate this. I just had it activated once. Maybe I've got to try and find him. Um I don't know how. That is a lot of loot right there. I'll take all of that, thank you. Oh, is that him there? There he is. Captain A Pack. This is an absolute joke, guys. Wish me flipping luck. Right, let's just get this started. If you've completed this, by the way, let me know in the comments down below. That is a really nice colour that he's got in his ship. So that ship's actually bigger than this. Look at that. He's got two decks. I'm glad he's not hyper-focusing me. I said it's hard, and he's actually appearing to be quite easy. What's going on? He's not focusing me. That might be why. Oh, this might not be the World Event one. So the, the actual World Event one gives you... No, this one's easy. The World Event one that appears, which is... It's just our pack, not Captain our pack, which is the throne. That one is a joke. So that one you get helm coins for and everything. The other one when that appears. So, I mean, I can't complain about this. He's not even attacking me. <laughs> I said it's going to be really hard. And the guy's not even attacking me. So hard this is. <laughs> well... As you can see, I might as well just fire away and show you the damage. Oh, and just so you can see, so there's three on the top, four on the bottom. So that'd be five, six, seven. So look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's no other shots after that. Now reload. So that's the way you can see that the all deck does work indeed. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm actually loving this. I'm killing the last boss and he's not even doing anything to me. He might just turn around in a second and go absolutely crazy. Look at the damage. You see that 74,000, but that's because obviously I did. Uh oh. I might have just spoken a bit too soon. Oh, well, at least I had a bit of a, an advantage. It's probably needed. It's probably giving me a bit of pity from the last time I fought him because I got absolutely bad. Don't do it, my friend. Oh, 
Oh, there's them torpedoes I was on about. So he puts smoke on, spins around in a circle, and you've got to simply dodge his torpedoes. Quickly brace. It's going to hurt. And it's going to flood me. Okay, yeah, this is about to go off. I need to restore my brace, so I need to hold it on. I can't even hold it on to restore it, because it's fully gone. See, that all depends with the Ouroboros as well, on uh, how it restores. Why did it take a while for it to start, and now it's going crazy? Oh, I've got to try and heal up. So let me know in the comments down below if you have beaten him. Oh my god, there comes his torpedoes. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my, look at them torpedoes. Just take a look at that. Lucky he can't fire them backwards, so the trick is obviously to be behind him when he's done that. up. Yo, Paolo Bitcoin. Welcome to the Dev Squad, amigo. I appreciate that, that subscribe. Much love, amigo. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to get out of here for a second. I need to... Uh-oh. I've got 60 seconds till I can do anything. No, 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 no. Them torpedoes, they're going to reach me. They are, aren't they? Oh, no. Let's just take hit of one. Oh, it just ended. Look how lucky that was. That was so lucky. Thing is, the, the, the pirate ships that spawn with him are super tanky as well. Let's try and delete their weak points to kill them. We can kill his friends and we might have a chance. Okay, this is how I remember it. Not a good experience. Let's heal up. We need to get back to him so he doesn't end it. Or he doesn't start healing. Oh no, bugger off. We get the tear sails with the long lines. Yeah, there we go. A bit of 7k damage. Gotta love it. So I'm on Xbox as well, so it makes it a little bit harder. I mean, just trying to do this with his friends alive is just, yeah, not a vibe. You've got to try and do this without them alive. The only negative is the timer does keep counting. No. Quick, 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 quick. Right, that's him done. Take the silver though. Thank you. Right, where is he? Is he healing up? No, he's not. Perfect. Right, let's try and use one of these. Let's drop this bad boy on him. Maybe he won't... If we anchor here, we sit behind this island, just keep shooting him. Maybe we can bug it. Maybe we can basically trick it a little bit and use this island as cover. And it won't actually attack because we're just out of right sight. Uh, nope. I don't know if that's going to work. He's... he's, he's Putting the sails down, he's definitely coming towards me. I don't want to hit that ship. I know I've just done it.
I might use this island though, just protects me a little bit from his torpedoes. Just play ring around the rose with him. So I've got that, and he can't hit me with his torpedoes. Oh! He can hit me with all them. I need to get rid of this guy. Brace. Let's get around this side. Oh, mate. Cool. I think this is the only way of us doing it. Just use this island to our advantage. I oh, can't even hit him though, so this is a problem. Oh, he seems to be hitting me with quite a lot of success. It's not going to do enough damage. I thought I brace. I can't hit him. Oh no. Guys, what would you be doing at this point? How long have I got? I've got 10 minutes. I think I've just got to rely. Simply. That's what I need to do is get them closer ones. Constantly keep going for the crew attacks and the flooding damage. Okay, we took out a weak spot as well, so we need to get him to turn around. And then we can take out the next one. Yo, Charlie Richards, welcome to the Death Squad Amigo. Appreciate that. Subscribe. Right, let's do that. Uh oh, uh oh. Put flares out. That's what we want. So now he's turning the other way. We can hit the weak spots on them. <gasps> stop, 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 stop. Them torpedoes. No, no. Turn around, please. Let's get out of the way. Okay. Oh, I might have just cheesed this boss. Well, this is not the way you're meant to do it, but I mean, I ain't complaining. What am I meant to do here? I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. He stopped shooting when he was doing so much. Need to hit that weak spot. Oh no, I'm trapped here. He's going, we ain't playing around that island no more. That's probably what I should have done is call for help. Oops.
I think we've done it. Ah! I've got to try to stop aiming for that weak spot. I'm really not hitting it. So I've noticed he can't shoot me from behind as well. Okay, muskets fired. No, 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 look all them cannons opening up. No. Yes, we got behind it. Okay, the Dutch are coming, but not the French. So I don't know if the Dutch are going to attack me. Okay, this ne neck tacker is helping me now. Maybe he's not. No, he's like, no, I don't want none of that. Cheers, mate. Appreciate you. Too greedy, Death Wish. I might be getting too greedy. Come on. Oh, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've flipping done it. Oh, my God. Should we see what we get in the chest? Let's see what we get in this chest. I think I cheesed that. So, guys, if you go to do this, uh, I believe now you know what to do. Let's go and hand in the quest and also open this chest and uh, see what's what. Where do we hand it in? We can hand it in. We might as well sail over there. I'll uh, quickly open this chest and then cut to the point of me being over there handing it in. What's this on the map? That is Watch the Throne. Wait, Elite Captain. I pack. That's another one, but he's got pieces of eight. So that's one of him spawning, or spawning out in the open. Okay, interesting. Right, let me open up the uh, the item. The item is here. Open. We got some poppy. Okay. Okay, let's go and hand in the quest and see what we get. So here we are just pulling into the dock. Let's see what happens. Oh, I've got this blimmin' little ship won't leave me alone. He's managed to find me all the way here. I didn't want to fight him here because I might end up shooting something I don't want to. So I, for instance, hit that ship next to him. If I hit even just part of that town, it's over for me. Too many treasure maps. Right, let's hand this in. Here in the ladder. Interact. Watch the throne. Hand it in. What do we get? We got 12,000 silver and we get some gloves and some rings. Well, guys, that is my PvE solo tank. Absolutely insane destroying build. But I had a very easy job at, at Boss Solo. If you like this, make sure you like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.